YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Dadway Five Soul, aka Mario. Hey, um, I got a lot of requests on this. They know, they know we love Van Halen on here. They know we love Eddie, and they know we just love the way that guitar sounds, man. But we gonna finally check this out. We we gonna check out Van Halen Eruption Tokyo Dome live in concert video sync with official album track. Um, we gonna check this out, man. I guess um, the recent comment was, watch, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna shout you out right now. Since I'm, on, uh, since I'm on right here. He said, I think you should do Eddie Van Halen solo in 2015 Tokyo Dome to see what that 60 year old dude did. This is from Irene uh, Sousa, Sosa. Sousa or Sosa. Sorry if I don't pronounce your name right, but we're gonna check this out man so without without further ado let's get into it man eddie van halen and i know his birthday just passed um i was gonna put out a video on that day but i was like man i don't want to be like every other youtuber and just put out a video on on his on his on his birthday and then all that i mean yeah it would be like it would be cool but um we're just gonna enjoy the music on that day i'm not gonna post anything or nothing but yeah man let's get it though um, Eddie Van Halen, live at Tokyo Dome. Let's get it. Yo, are these? Oh, I don't even know. I don't know if this is the Wolfgang or this is the Music Man. But <clears throat> I was recently at Guitar Center. Um, I was just checking out guitars and then like playing the playing the drums and everything. I went with my girl, and they had they had the they had the EVH Wolfgang uh standard, not the special edition. They had the standard. It was in a black, and I was like, hey, can I try that? And that I'm telling you, if you have never if you have never felt that guitar in your hands or played that guitar, I I advise you please go play that guitar. Like the neck when you play it, and I know guitar players are gonna understand where I'm coming from. When you get a brand new guitar, like and you feel that neck, and you're like, ah, oh, this is like I, I need to break this in. Like this feels too weird. Like you pick up that guitar and you start playing it, that neck feels like it's been played like over and over and over and over and over again. And that's what I loved about that guitar. And then, I mean, it's just a comfortable, good sounding guitar. And then I was playing it. I was playing it through the little, the little 5150, the little, the little all in, all in one cab they had. Um, not the head separate or the, or the cab separate, it was just the all in one. And man, that thing sounded so sick. I was like, damn, but that combination together, like four grand. I said, yeah, I was like, oh my goodness, but we don't get that one day, but. Let's get this, man. That's what I just wanted to say because I just seen this guitar. But like I said, if you guys have not played that guitar, I advise you to go and go, just go and try it. Like, go and feel it, and you're going to know what I mean. But let's get back into this. <laughs> Kill switch? Yeah, that one had a kill switch that I played.
I've heard this before. This little lick. Ah, my goodness, dude! How? I I tried I tried that on mine because I I recently just got a just got a brand new amp. I got the what the heck is this thing called? I got the Boss Katana, the hundred watt um MK2, and then this thing this amp like you could plug into a computer and download like patches, and like you could download different tones onto it. And I recently got a Van Halen tone, and it was the Van Halen one tone. I swear, this thing sounds like the Van Halen one tone. Like I played, it, you really got me. And it really sounds like it. And like I'll try like the little the little tap harmonics, and I'll get it sometimes. Like I'll be like ding 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 ding, and it'll be like do you do you do you do you do you. And like I'll try to keep going, and I um, I I don't understand. I'm like I don't understand this. This is crazy, but I always liked it. Like when he just did that, like do you do. You. That was just always sick to me. Jeez. He's gonna do the cathedral. Was dying back stuff. Hey. Hey, that's that that's that dime bag Daryl squeal right there. If I flick off the G string, tap a harmonic, dive the bar. <laughs> that sounds crazy. It's not like a space movie. This this theme has always been so calm to me. Like I'll just listen to it at night and I'll just go like that, like laying down. I'll get ready to pass out listening to this. Thank you. 
man. That sounds that sounds Yo, that sounds badass. <laughs> that shit sounds like the intro to like the most epic fucking battle ever. He's about to go crazy. Legend. Yo, like I say, like I say, and I'm going to say it every time, Eddie Van Halen to me will be the GOAT forever. Like, I don't care who you, you could put up anybody. You could put up any guitar player. I don't care who who it is. And before Eddie Van Halen, Stevie Ray Vaughan was my man. I mean, my dog. I mean, we was like this. But then I heard Van Halen, I said, yo, Stevie. I said, yo, Stevie, you my dog, bro? But. Yo, 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 this guy doing stuff I ain't even heard. Yo, yo, Stevie, let me, let me, let, yo, let me go over here and check this out. And then, man, I was just like, I'm telling you, ever since that first video I reacted to Van Halen, I'm not, I, I swear to God, on my kids, on my, on my grandparents' grave, I've watched every single Van Halen interview on YouTube. I've seen. Live Without a Net probably 10 times and my favorite song on Live Without a Net um the live video is probably 5150 just because that that uh improvised solo when he's like and then man that and then like the whole backstage the whole um when uh he's talking about um, with the, where he's with that guy, and then he's like, when they talk about guitar players, they talking about Hendrix, and they're talking about Eric Clapton, and he's like, Eddie Van Halen's name is somewhere in that mix, and he's like, I can tell you one thing, I'm sure I'm definitely the youngest guy on that list. I mean, I've seen every interview, and like, 
I mean, just my fascination with this guy, like what he was able to do with the guitar when nobody was doing it was just mind boggling. And then when I learned everything, how he was, he never read music. He couldn't read music at all. And then he just made his own. And that's, and that's kind of like me. Cause when I play guitar, I, I've never went to lessons. I've never took lessons. Like I said, like I said, only, only took guitar in high school and they showed us, I like, I'm not even kidding. They showed us probably like four chords at the most. And this class was like only for a semester. This class, and they only showed us four chords. And I'll never forget, we had to do, we had to do, we had to do a concert, like in front of our parents and everything. I like, I like on a Friday, like a Friday, like I, uh, I think it was like on a Friday. Yeah. And then like, um, it was at like five o'clock. So we had to go home, get our stuff and then come back. And I, I remember we we played Star Spangled Banner. Um, oh, what the? It was another song. It was like some little rock kind of rhythm thing, and then like another like kind of classical thing, and that was it. And then I got an A in that class, and I and they never taught me anything else. That's why I was like, what the hell? It's so like after high school, like I kind of put down the guitar, kind of messed with it a little bit, and then that's when I went and got this, the Telecaster. Um. And I just picked it back up. And then ever since then, like every day, I try to learn like a new song or like something new on the guitar, like another like another little shape, another little solo. I mean, like I said, man, I never took lessons. <laughs> I mean, I don't even count going to freaking that guitar class and taking lessons and not that is lessons because they ain't teach me shit. Like they're like, oh, you play Star Spangled Banner, then, and that was easy. I was like, all right, this is probably like three notes at the most, and you just gotta move, you just gotta move these 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 three fingers right here, and I'm like, and then I was like, okay, this is easy. And then the other one was just chords, and then I'm pretty sure the other one was just chords too, because I don't remember like picking on the other one, but I said all that to say that. If you're out there playing an instrument, don't be discouraged about, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do this. Like, this guy was the greatest at what he did, and he made up his own book, he made up everything, and it just took off, like, it went crazy, and then, so all of you that are playing an instrument out there, who cares what people are saying and all that, all, like, the videos I upload and I get all those hate comments, like, this don't sound like it. Da, 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 da. This don't even sound like it. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not playing it through a freaking, freaking thousand watt Marshall with a phase 90 and a watt pedal and 30 different effects. Like I don't have no effects like at all. Like this, this amp is like the first amp that I got, like probably with effects. Cause it has like a built in delay, a built in phase 90 and all that. Like, you can do all that from the computer, so I mean I'm barely starting to I'm barely starting to figure out like what all that stuff is and all that. But shout out to the person shout out to um what is your name again? Irene Sosa. Shout out shout out to you for recommending me this and all the other people that have been recommending me this. This was legendary. But like I said, man, Eddie will forever be the GOAT and yeah, man, but that's the reaction, man, to Van Halen Eruption Tokyo Dome, live in the Tokyo Dome, Tokyo Dome live in concert. I'm guessing that this is at the Tokyo Dome, but if you're new, hit that sub button, leave a like, comment what we should do next. I'm Mario, aka Datway520, and I am gone. Long live the GOAT, EVH. Peace.